beautiful kings and queens welcome to the last video for this no it's just this one just this one <laughs> we might do another round of videos because the way things are going now the drama is too sweet so this one i'm giving you is just a taste but i'm very sure that in the next weeks like these housemates they will give us more juice because we are thirsty ah man the way this heat is killing me i want to drink i want juice give me juice anyway before i start let me remind you of my sponsor mm arcade the beauty pageant app downloadable from play store and you can start winning up to one thousand dollars every week download now to start playing get your free m cash and join any category of your choice to win the cash prize so hmm this is a love is it the love triangle no it is not because we are focusing on just one housemate this time and this housemate is kid wire so tarsia hey <laughs> i think i just butchered this name is it tarsier how do you pronounce this name please I, I help me in the comment section tarsier I'm, I'm pronouncing tarsia i don't care tarsia wire is 27 years old and he comes from benue state he's a fitness enthusiast as everybody has noticed an entrepreneur and he's the son of billionaire Terry Wire. The guy is no, no, sorry. You know, I don't really consider your parents' money to be your money. I understand that you can enjoy the privileges of you know being the child of a rich person, but as long as your parents are still alive, their money is not your money. Okay, so the guy comes from a family that is loaded. He has a degree in business science from Nottingham Trent University. And he was the CEO of Valley Agriculture and Food Company and as well co-founded AK Export. Yes, yeah, so the man has his hand in so many things. He is not... How can Lekon even compete with this one? What is wrong with Lekon? This guy does not like himself. You know the thing that Kid Wire started, I think he was... He seemed to be interested in Watoni. Like everybody was shipping him with Watoni, even the people in the house were shipping him with Watoni. I remember like um, Nengi at some point uh, chose Watoni over Erica to be with Kid Wire. But Kid Wire later chose Erica by himself during a truth and dare game. And that is how he and Erica started gluing mouth together. After the make out session that was all over the internet and we also had a glimpse of Erica's you know small juicy ass <laughs> erica told kid that she would rather be friends because she doesn't want any distractions and also because he she doesn't like the fact that he is so friendly with other women in the house this lasted for one day because the next day they were back to making out she was licking something out of his mouth and they are back to kissing and touching and again with you know the cameraman constantly focusing on lacon to show us the expression of defeat but hopeful <laughs> on his face poor man <laughs> those people they are not nice at all but the one thing we notice about kid wire is that he's not a very straightforward guy so after erica told him that you know she would rather they remain friends he went to nengi and he told nengi uh i told erica that we should remain friends like because you know erica is a woman and women cannot control their emotions and blah 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 do you see what he did he was the one that was rejected but he told nengi that he was the one who did the rejection and he had also told nengi previously that you know erica wasn't comfortable with his friendship with the other ladies in the house so nengi automatically assumed that she was one of the problems and people got you know upset because what is nengi's business why does she have to be everywhere why does she have to think that everything or everyone revolve around her but it's not really like that it's based on what this man told her that she gave that response you know nengi is playing her game i've already said it her game will create a lot of ripple effects and people will think that she's been intentional with some malicious mischievous actions but in reality those will be just you know side effects consequences of her strategy 
which is you know to make sure that none of the housemates get to uh, vote her out in case she ends up in the last four people that were voted by, uh, by the audience the thing about kid is that he is like also but his game is much dirtier because also is very open about the fact that he's a greedy man but kid wire is you know subtle about it he's more manipulative about it because erica doesn't even know that she has to compete with nengi dora and nengi know very well that okay this is the other woman that also sort of likes but erica she just thinks that kid wire is too flirtatious and that he likes to share his attention with many women but there's no other woman in particular that she has to worry about but somehow nengi knows that she might be that particular woman it's not that kid wires on seriousness is not easy to detect because he's manipulative it is right there in your face it is right there in her face it is right there in our faces but erica is deciding to ignore them sometimes we see signals and we decide to ignore these signals because the signals do not how can I say they are not convenient for us they go against our desires if I want something but I'm getting signals that that thing is bad for me my human nature will push me into ignoring them and just going for what I want then at the end of the day when the inevitable happens I start blaming myself or I start blaming the other person I start blaming life or God or fate for putting me in that position when in reality I was the one who put myself in that position because I chose to ignore the signals and that is exactly what Erica is doing. The signals are all over the place that Kid Wire is not interested in a serious relationship. He's flirting with other women in the house. At the beginning it seems that he will end up with Watoni and then he ended up with you but even though he's making us with you he's still acting flirting with other women and still you decide to push your head inside. If something happens, can you really blame him? Can you really blame, you know, the world for putting you in this awkward situation? Can you blame Big Brother for putting someone like Kid Waya inside the house? Big Brother is your fault. <laughs> no, it is her fault. You are the one choosing not to pay attention to the handwriting on the wall. Another issue is that she's already involved with this man she has already had some physical contact so emotional contact with this man so now she's finding really hard to break things off the thing with nengi and also is that nengi has not been attached to also in any way like she's not kissed him she's not done anything with him but erica and kid have already made up and it was seen that she had a mind-blowing orgasm at some point because the expression on her face was like can I do that for you too? She keeps remembering that experience. Like if he does something that she doesn't like, she thinks that, oh, that night, oh my God. And then she is back to square one because the memory is strong. The desire to relive that moment is strong. So now she feels trapped, like, okay, I'm interested in this guy. He's interested in me. He's flirtatious, but, oh God, we share that particular moment and we keep sharing moments. So you see what is happening that is how you get trapped in a fuck boy's trap to avoid a situation like this always trust your guts always trust your guts if you see the first red flag do not ignore it we always think that oh it's just the first red flag it's just one red flag but there are red flags that are huge the fact that kid wire was so flirtatious that he started all with watoni and then ended up with erica was one big huge red flag the fact that they made out and then he still wanted to be flirting with other women was again another huge red flag. But she has decided to ignore them and to trust in the fact that, you know, he likes me and we made up. Erica has already said that the thing that she likes about Kid Wire are his looks. And that is it. If you are able to ignore the superficial charm of these men, you know, the thing that they present, the, the glitter with which they cover up their body and present to you. You will not fall for their antics. If indeed, you know, Erica is someone that is really interested in people's mind, she would not even be interested in Kid Wire in the way she is. I'm not saying she wouldn't make out with him. I'm not saying that she wouldn't like be attracted to him, but she wouldn't find herself in a situation where she says, I don't want you anymore. Then the next day she's back to him. 
this goes back to what we were saying about Lekong. Lekong doesn't stand a chance because you know that mental attraction that Erika is telling him is just to keep him good. She doesn't like him at all because she's not interested in mental attraction. There are other people in the house that are intelligent, that are good looking. Prince, for example, I keep hearing Prince's name that he is good looking and that he is smart. If indeed Erika was the kind of person who cared about looks and mind, she wouldn't go for Kid Wire. She would go for him like beginning because she's attracted to him. But after seeing how shallow and superficial he is, she will move on to someone who actually has the complete package. Or at least 80% of what she's looking for. You, my lady, you might be like Erika as well. You know, you are in this entanglement with this man. He's giving you signals upon signals that he is not serious, but because you share the moment and because he keeps giving you the you know impression that he's into you, you decide to stick around. You are doing yourself a disservice. And I'm telling you the same thing I said about Dora. If a man like that can come to you, trust me, there are millions of other men like that that will come to you. And that is all for today, guys. I will see you perhaps next week we don't know i might start doing like big brother specials now because the way the dramas keep unfolding you know these people the ones that i spoke about this week they keep dominating all the cheese they keep dominating all the trendy you know issues about the big brother but anyway i will still see you next week though because i have many other topics i would like to discuss and share with you see you now bye bye